Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Frida Swiss. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favored saint, what hope do we have? Any noise yet about the Arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think he'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk. Unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Archery contest? Keep off, boy. This is my coin, my shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you true. We heard the take for this job is three stubs of silver a month. Is that true? Yeah. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers in. Husa's earned a fortune skimming the docks of London. Be gone! You reek of someplace else. I have a bow and a buddy ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? Usa sent me. Your man in London, Rich. Usa did? Well, he's a keen one, all right. Has a good eye for soldiers. But do you align with our values? What think you of Outlanders? Outlanders bring exotic riches. Spices, silks and gems. They are the wealth of port cities. I've no quarrel with them dumping their trade, but they should leave after. London for Londoners! Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. But which? Ignore your purses, lads. There we go. Hmm. This coin is engraved with an image of the London Coliseum. Wait a second. Oh, 
What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers. Now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyed! All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows north! Fire! For some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. 
You only trap them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No! I gave these men order! I gave them purpose! I showed them their common enemy! Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition, greed, anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. But glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down. Only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready. Expecting the worst. I do not want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broger. sister was murdered, and where were your guards? You hear me, Erke? Her blood's on you! It's a ruse, I tell you! It's them that killed Trigir and shifted the blame! 